Furries! In recent years, the internet has seemed to have finally gotten used to furries, more or less. And I have joined this mentality. I remember a few years ago when there were all kinds of kill all furries and gas furries accounts that you could find sprinkled all over social media. But it seems that in my experience, these types of accounts have decreased along with other things. Sure, you can still find people like this, but it seems to me that a lot of it has gone away. Now, this may be because you can only hate a large group of people for so long until you just start to get bored, especially when the only negative news you get from them is starting some sexual thing once a year, and then that news turns out to be satire. There's just not much to work with, you know? The only things I really hate are related to individual furries, and not the subculture as a whole. Like the really unfunny vines, and the weird fetish crap. But these things seem more like accessories than key components of the culture. But it also seems to me that seeing this stuff has gotten more difficult, unless you're deliberately looking for it. Or if you go on DeviantArt for five seconds, of course. Maybe this is because furries have gotten more self-aware and realize what to post on more common social media, if you know what I mean. Sure, the anthropomorphic characters themselves are still very, very present, but overall it's mostly harmless. It isn't like pornography anymore. Now you may have noticed that a lot of this is anecdotal, and that's because it's kind of hard to gather evidence for this kind of thing. And I'm not really trying to write a scientific paper here. I'm just kind of giving my thoughts, so maybe it's a different experience for someone else. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I'm the guy who constantly explores weird things, so if I don't see that much of it anymore, you know where I'm going with this. Now you may be wondering why I'm defending furries when in the past I've constantly criticized art from people who like MLP and bore and such. The thing is to say I hate any of these weird subcultures now would be a stretch. Near the very beginning of my channel, I did actually hate these people. You need to learn some culture if you think that this utter revolting piece of trash is priceless! But it just got tiresome rather quickly. I don't really care anymore. It's just drawings. Now, of course, I like to make fun of these kinds of things because I still think it's funny. But it's not like I'm giving special treatment to these people. I like to make fun of everything. But if that's the case, how come I haven't made a browsing DeviantArt episode specifically on furries? Well, because anthro characters are so ingrained in the art community that trying to make a video that encompasses every aspect of furry culture would be almost impossible. I mean, I've reviewed so much furry artwork already that there's really no point. It would seem a bit redundant. Another thing is that furries have lost their shock value. I mean, everyone knows about furries now. They aren't some obscure group anymore. They also don't seem nearly as outrageous as they used to be. With all the recent abhorrent behavior from people involved in politics and YouTubers, a few people dressing up in animal costumes are not the biggest concern. After all the weird art things I've seen, including eating people alive, anthro vehicles, transformation of the human body, rape, force feeding, removal of limbs, incest, hanging, Barbie BDSM, and so much more! You know, that drawing of a dog that is 85% human and has anime eyes is not that bad in comparison. I've also thought about something that might be a bit of a, uh, a, uh, theory. Like, you know how humans and dogs have been evolving together for thousands of years? We've been slowly influenced by each other to work as a team, and in a sense, dogs are becoming more like us? You know how we've influenced them to have cuter faces and bodies and such? Well, what if this furry thing is just other people going to the next natural step? You know what I'm saying? 
but we just don't have the time nor the technology to do such a thing? Is this some sort of creepy evolutionary progress that we've been overlooking as some sort of weird subculture? But anyway, back to the subject. I don't really care about them. And you know, the art in the culture can be really high quality. Even the designs of the characters can be interesting. There's so much passion and effort that goes into their culture that I think it's much more to them than a fetish. I mean, anthropomorphic cartoon animals have been around for at least a hundred years. The idea of furries might have been around a lot longer. It's kind of creepy. I'm not saying you can't joke about furries or you have to embrace them. They're still kind of strange, obviously. Hell, you can still hate them. I don't control you. I don't care. I guess that does it for this video. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, new videos on the way. Make sure to, to, to rate my setup, yo. I know it's sucky right now. Um, by the way, this, this microphone isn't even plugged in. I, I just need something to hold on to while I'm talking or else or else everyone will get distracted by my hand movements. Oh, by the way, to all of you who say you only make videos about things you hate, Ha!